abortion. Mm. Pero rape-related mm. abortion. Mm. Sabi ng pinsan, ito yung Philippine Safe Abortion Advocacy Network at in Gender Rights Incorporated. Mm. Isang Filipina woman at girl raped every 75 minutes. About one in every eight Filipino women who resorts to abortion is a rape survivor. Mm -hmm. 70 women induce abortion every hour. Complications from unsafe abortion is one of the five leading causes of maternal death mm -hmm. and a leading cause of hospitalization in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. 2012 alone, 610,000 Filipino women induced abortion. Mm -hmm. Over 100,000 women were hospitalized and 1,000 women died due to unsafe abortion complications. Since there is no access to safe abortion in the country, at least three women die every day from unsafe abortion complications. Ito po ang aking katanungan. Bilang presidente, at kung ikay papalarin maging presidente ng Pilipinas, do you think, Senator Bongbong, is it time to enact a law on abortion that would allow pregnant rape victims the choice of legal and safe abortion? Uh, yes, I think for very severe cases, like you say, the the the, the most uh, uh, the majority of cases are rape victims, and I think that uh, if they if it can be shown that they were raped and it was not consensual sex and that that got them pregnant, then they should have the choice to abort or not. The other is incest, perhaps, if uh, the. Uh, uh, the mother, who is usually quite young, uh, is not capable of uh, mentally, has, men has mental deficiencies, or is just not capable, uh, uh, emotionally or mentally capable, to take care of a child, to have a child. Uh, maybe that those are the those are the cases where we can we can say that abortion abortion might be justified. But still, for me, the bottom line is I, I, when it comes to the subject of abortion, it is a woman's it is a woman's. Decision. Decision because it is her body. Meron din yan, meron din mga unusual cases ng uh, naririp, pero they keep the child uh, and they raise them as their own. Again, they must be given that choice. Uh, and the, the women, I think, it, 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 well, all the women in my life, uh, always uh, when we talk about this subject, when we talk about the border, say it's my body. I should, let, I should decide. And I, 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 uh, I subscribe to, to to that notion, and I think that's correct. But uh, be, so that we do not go and get uh, get uh, stuck in the moral issues of playing God, etc., or when life begins, uh, all of those debates. That, uh, that have been happening around the world uh, coming to abortion. To avoid all of that, we can make it very distinct and say rape victims, victims of incest, um, uh, if, it, if the mother's life uh, health is in danger, uh, if they take them take the pregnancy to full term, maybe that will be that will be another possibility. But beyond that, I don't think uh, we uh, we need to do more than that when it comes. Senator Bonbon. This is totally against the position of the Catholic Church. Mm -hmm. e, tayo e 80% or more Catholics in this country, at ang sinasabi ng ating relihiyon mm -hmm. ay uh, walang conditions, abortion mm -hmm. is not allowed. It is killing an innocent human being inside the womb of a mother. Yeah. What do you say to that argument? Well, I cannot argue theology. All I all I argue is what what the statistics that you that you have given me. Sixty thousand people, sixty thousand are hospitalized. Is that the figure? Yeah. Uh, because of b b botched abortions, uh, how many people? How many? How many? How many women die? Every uh, that's, day. that's more. That's more. What I am. And that's a more important consideration to you than you know religion. If you're if you're an, a public administrator, that should be the concern. Is this death rate so high? And we can do in one fell swoop. Maybe we can avoid what a large percentage of that. We should do it. Because there are many stories. Halimbawa, uh, I read a story about a, a woman uh, na merong dwarfism na hindi kaya mga na. Mm -hmm. uh, meron naman isang doktor na 
uh, pinaaral yung kanyang nagpaaral sa kanya, she, he, she, she was raped. Mm. There are incestuous rapes. Mm -hmm. So, ang sinasaan, kasi ang inaalaw dito sa Pilipinas ay yung tinatawag na therapeutic uh, abortion. Mm -hmm. Na halimbawa, mm -hmm. uh, ang mga doktor ay nariyan mm -hmm. at uh, between the, if you are choosing between the life of the mother to save the mother, yes, yes. you know, uh, you are uh, you are allowed to do it. Yun ang aking pagkakaunawa. That's right. So, um, in, in cases in severe cases mm -hmm. katulad doon sa mga minensyon ko mm -hmm. you are you are okay with uh, abortion almost certainly because we want to save the lives of people we want to save the lives of women and that's that, that what in effect we will be doing if we allow these critical cases uh, to to avail of that therapeutic abortion that uh, that you mentioned um, again as a as a public administrator and as a serv public servant what you are what you are looking to is to avoid all of these tragedies every single one of these statistics that you have read is a tragedy in itself it affects the the, the, the woman involved it affects the entire family generally it affects the community it affects them for the rest of their lives Senator Bombong, walang batas dito sa Pilipinas na uh, naglalaman ng iyong mga sinasabi as president, mm -hmm. would you initiate a law uh, that clarifies your position on abortion? Well, if it's if it's uh, if if the Congress will pass a law and that is the will of the people and people, uh, the majority of the Congress as representing the the uh, general populace, if it is their will that we have that, then uh, if it, that what? Let's talk about drugs, Senator Mombong. Pupuntahan ko yung sinabi ni President Duterte in a speech sa o Ozami City, August 2017. And I quote, I feel so bad about all of these things kasi nalaman ko paano ko makukontrol. Let's, go, let's talk about abortion. Specifically, rape-related abortion. Sabi ng pinsan, Philippine Safe Abortion Advocacy Network at Engender Rights Incorporated, isang Filipino woman and girl is raped every 75 minutes. About one in every eight Filipino women who resorts to abortion is a rape survivor. 70 women induce abortion every hour. Complications from unsafe abortion is one of the five leading causes of maternal death and the leading cause of hospitalization in the Philippines. 2012 alone, 610,000 Filipino women induced abortion. Over 100,000 women were hospitalized and 1,000 women died due to unsafe abortion complications. Dahil wala na tayong access to safe abortion in the country, at least, may risk three women die every day from unsafe abortion complications. You're applying to be president of this country. Sa iyong palagay, panahon na to enact a law on abortion that would allow pregnant rape victims the choice of legal and safe abortion? No. Life is life to me. Same thing that I apply to uh, criminals. Due process of law will be observed. Equal opportunity, equal chance, and, you know, the same thing, when, when I value those lives are suspected criminals, uh, yung karapatang pantao nila, na may paliwarag ang sarila, the same manner applied to any life. I don't like taking life. So, ayoko ng abortion. But I am pro-choice in terms of other things like yung kung ano yung mga accessible na pwedeng ibigay ng Estado para sa family planning. But when there is life already, when there is life Sorry. already, nobody should take it away. Kasi ipinagkaloob ng Diyos yun. Oh, that's my personal opinion. Pinagkalob ng Diyos, pero the situation is, ginahasa ang batang ito, ang babaeng ito, nagbubuntis ang isang bata na unwanted. Uh, does that still fall into your reasoning yes. na yan ay bawal? Dahil yung bata na yun na sinapupunan ng nanay, walang kakayanan, ipagtanggol lang sarili niya. Buhay na yun eh. Life na yun eh. Pero mayroon kong choice ng nanay. No, uh, no. Hindi, hindi lang yun para sa kanya. Buhay din yun nasa tiyan niya. There is a life inside the womb. Life is life. Only God can take it away. Not human being. Dadagdagan ko pa ito ng certain points. Tatay ang nakabuntis sa anak. 
Pwede kaya, there was a story about, uh, there was a story about a doctor uh, na nabuntis nang nagpaaral sa kanya, ang kanyang guardian. Kahit sa mga pagkakataong ganito, hindi maganda ang social status, hindi maganda ang social impression. For whatever impression, o ano man nasasabihin ng ibang tao, it may, no, it may had a bad effect sa society, sa katatayuan ng ina o ng bata. But life is life. Bawat buhay mahalaga. Ang buhay ng mahirap mo, the buhay ng middle class, buhay ng mayaman, pare-pareho ang mahalaga. The same manner, yung walang kamalay-malay na bata sa sinapupunan ng ina, paano man siya nakonsig? In a bad way or in a good way? Life is life. Mayor, paano naman yung karapatan ng merong malay na ina na ayaw niyang hmm. magkaanak? Tama naman yon. Pero di ba, yun yung buhay natin. Hindi ko ginusto maging basurero. Hindi ko ginusto kumain ng tira ng tao. Ba't yun ang pinagkaloob sa akin ng tadhana? Ipinilit kong magsigasig. Ipinilit kong ibangon ang sarili ko. Pinilit kong pagbutihin ang sarili ko ng makilala ko ng lipunan, ng maayos na tao. Meron akong kalungkutan sa buhay ng mga nagdaan. Pero hindi ako pwede mamuhay na lamang sa mga nagkada, nagdaan para sa aking kinabukas. Life must go on. We must face these challenges. We must. And that's where the church, the state, the family come in. Mayor, we support. That's a different story. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah, I mean, I'm just saying that hirap, nung ako'y naghirap, oh. uh, we made certain choices. Yeah. But in a situation where, halimbawa, ang tatay ng iyong ipinagbubuntis ay ang sarili mong ama. Napakasaklap. At hindi mo maatin na magkaroon ng anak sa iyong ama. Wala ka bang choice bilang babae, bilang tao? Tito Boy, masaklap yun. Naawa ko sa ganong sitwasyon. Pero, hindi ako Diyos para kumuha ng buhay ng tao. Diyos ang nagbigay ng buhay. Diyos lamang ang pwedeng kumuha. But you're aware, Mayor, that uh, there's such a thing as therapeutic abortion dito sa Pilipinas. Has okay. that yung... If there is therapeutic abortion that are existing, that is a therapeutic huh, way of dealing and helping the mother with the unwanted children. Oh, di ba, mayroon namang isang way. There is always two sides of the coin. It's hard, Tito Boy. Don't get me wrong. Mahirap na katatayuan yun ng isang ina na nangyari sa kanya yung ganoon. Pero, we must go on. We must fight. We must help as a state okay. and as a family. Okay. Ang sinasabi ko lamang sa therapeutic abortion ay isang pagkakataon kung saan pinipili